1996, 97, ag biotechnology was really starting to take off and it was a real change for the business. A lot of our commercial clients that were chemical companies making fertilizers and herbicides were suddenly real science companies. They were doing genetic research, biotech research, and I got very intrigued in the idea of working with scientists who are really trying to figure out how to solve the problems around food shortage, how to improve human health, and how to preserve our environment. And for us to play even a small part in that is very rewarding. Environ was founded in 1964, and 50 years later we're the largest company in the world in our space. What we do is we design and manufacture controlled environment chambers that assist researchers with their work. Our equipment controls light temperature, humidity, CO2, and other parameters to very precise degrees so that when researchers are growing plants, they can not only mimic what's happening outside, they can actually greatly improve on it. So we're really looking to be able to offer the research community a stem to stern kind of solution. One of the benefits of being the largest in, albeit a niche industry, is that when there are new technologies developed, whether it's new programs for plant growth or for analyzing plants, for imaging plants, they often come to us and say, well, can you incorporate this into your equipment? And our answer is yes. Our business has grown quite significantly in the last five or 10 years, and it will continue to grow. An organization like LSAN is important because although we have many good companies here, it's always assisted by an overriding organization or an entity that can pull us together, create those relationships, and to really create momentum. And LSAM does that. We could be anywhere in the world, we really could, in terms of what we do. But when you factor in the human element, the work ethic, finding people, a stable economy, this is a wonderful place to be. We've got a supportive government, we've got a collaborative industry, and it will all lead to a greater focus on what we're all trying to achieve here. And it'll be good for business, it'll be good for Manitoba, and frankly, and it sounds a little grandiose, but it'll be good for the world.